Hello everybody, how we doing, how we doing? My name is Quantic Flux, and today we're going to be checking out the demo for a game called Economics. It is a weird mixture of different genres. It seems to be a turn-based strategy roguelite RPG combined with a city builder um, where you kind of go down, you push your luck, you mine for resources, and then you bring it back up to build your city, and then you you do it again and uh it seems really interesting so why don't we check it out the life of a gnome is typically boring unpleasant and painfully uneventful but mine has always been the one exception and today was no different there i was on my usual walk through the woods on a <laughs> tuesday afternoon love this voice by the way out of the corner of my eye in a small clearing it was a book and I couldn't just leave it out there in the woods. It would have gotten wet. And no gnome likes a wet <laughs> book. But problem was, it was being guarded by an enormous creature. Mouth like a pointed stick. And eyes like the beads of death. But I'd faced these monsters before. So I knew what I was up against. And I wasn't going to go down easy. For a book? <laughs> it's a chicken. <laughs> oh my god. That evil beast didn't see Oh no. But I didn't come out unscathed either. He lost an eye. Find out what was in this book. The book contained the most outrageous stories, myths, tales, and legends. All the mysteries of the caves beneath Gnomeville. But there was one in particular that caught my eye. Well, let's get digging. Okay, we are off to a strong start. <laughs> Welcome to the cave. Sorry. Welcome to the caves, my apprentice. Okay, let's get some more wood to hire more gnomes. The woodcutter will help us with that. Move them to the meadow next to these bushes. Okay. Um, are you the wood? Yes, you are. Nice. Start the week. Now all your gnomes will take seven actions. Okay, so it's kind of like an auto battler almost, but without battle. <laughs> we also need food to feed the bats every week. Why? <laughs> if we go deeper, their numbers will increase. <laughs> you need to feed the bats with food. They will eat more the further you get. The bat indicator shows how much food the bats will eat after each turn and how much you have left. Now hire a hunter. This gnome is giving me, um, his voice actor was giving me big, um, you know that guy from Gravity Falls? Oh, man. Old man McGucket, I think it was. His voice reminds me of him. Hunts nearby animals. Gravity Falls, great show, by the way. Uh, okay, so well, you have a little fox friend. That's nice. Huntress, woodcutter, okay. We're gonna hunt some poor chickens. Sorry, chickens. Oh my god, we're slaughtering them. Okay, so the bats are going to take, what, five? Let's go deeper down! Okay. Got a couple decisions to make, that's nice. Um... The right path gives us the most variety. Also seems the most dangerous. Wait, wait, wait. Careful, the crack tiles are unstable. Your gnomes will take damage if they stand there at the end of the turn. Hmm. So interesting. The hunter... A hunter can only get, like, one group of these, no? Unless I can move them afterwards. Oh, boy. Okay, all the chickens left. Um, I think it's telling me that I can leave if I want to. I have to be honest, I probably should. Yep. 
but we can get five more wood though gonna cost more food i guess i don't know what the ratio of wood to food is i do think we should leave now though okay times two upgrade your gnomes okay i'm glad i got the extra wood productivity or light crew at least a gnome on a banner um i don't know what these do oh right here at the bottom left gnome will take an additional action when working allows your gnome to work in the air no longer takes damage from breaking tiles that sounds incredibly strong um let's do that okay let's travel here bat nests some caves contain dangerous bat nests destroy them or they will spawn additional bats at the end of each turn Is that you small bat nest okay root beak a giant chicken wearing a tree for armor moves around randomly deals damage to all adjacent tiles at the end of the turn or if trapped i'm feeling like i should not have gone over here I also don't know if the woodcutter can help kill bat nests. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, he can. Okay. All right, now that's the problem for our huntress. Escape elevator. Place a gnome here to remove them from your team. You will refund it half of its base value. Oh, I see a strong reason to do that. Ah, you did injure my woodcutter, and I didn't notice. I think there needs to be better, um, a better indication of when they take damage. I click tutorial on these. Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't have an indication. You probably have to build buildings to get the other ones. Now I think about it. Okay. Oops. Um, let's do this, I guess. I guess I don't really know what killing root beak does for us. But we seem to be absolutely bodying root beak, so I guess I'll you know try. Just damage to all adjacent tiles at the end of the turn or if trapped. I mean you're definitely trapped. Ah, I see right there. You're worth thirty food and thirty lumber, and then three and two of things we don't have. Okay, well, you're super dead, my dude. <gasps> what? How did you do so much damage? That's the one I upgraded, too. That's horrible. <laughs> Let's leave. Ah, oh, man, I don't feel great about that. Um, We need food more than we need wood, but we also just lost our woodcutter, so... Can I get another one? I can. Okay. Not upgraded, though. Use tree that moves around randomly. If trapped, attacks gnomes. Okay, only if trapped, though. So let's go here, and let's get these chickens, and hope that these ones still exist later. Okay. Hmm. So we need to release you in order for you to not. Attack if we put down our huntress Can I hire even more notes. I can. Okay. Well, I only have two types currently, and I think that the woodcutters are much more valuable for this particular map. Okay, yeah. Now we're going crazy with the wood. Okay, you're taking eight per turn now. Yikes. The three, probably not worth it. Also, you are trapped still. 
not ideal. Yeah, you are in fact attacking me. All right, now I think we leave. Okay, let's get out of here. Healing. Pretty useful. Their flight crew, though, also incredibly useful. Okay. I can't afford the other one. That's unfortunate. But uh, it's probably pretty important that our hunter doesn't die, you know? Okay, we got some sort of boss, probably. We never got so deep before. Oh, God. Seems bad. Legendary Roost Lord. I gotta tell you, there's... A 0% chance that we get through 200 health before the bats take all our food. <laughs> okay. I say we do something like this. You're not trapped. You could technically still move. Okay. Hmm. We all seem to have taken one damage from that. So potentially maybe I start murdering you while you're here. Ooh. Yeah, there's simply no way. <laughs> okay, but if you keep laying eggs... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there a chance? Maybe. Also, I put the wrong wrong unit over there. Hmm. Well, let's try this. These guys are annoying as hell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna die here. Can I leave? Half of its base value. Can I just click on you to leave? No. <laughs> the answer is no. Okay, we'll try this. Yeah, we're pretty cooked on food now. Unless. <laughs> okay. might work. Did get a lot of food. Hmm. Okay. Do something like I think we need the food. Oh, you ran away? You coward? You succeed? Let's freaking go. Okay, we got 13 bronze, looks like, and some chicken teeth. That was close. We found some loot. We could use the loot to buy many upgrades. New gnomes, new building blueprints, new abilities. They got it all covered. Spend our loot to unlock some new gnomes. Okay. Um, wants me to get the boomeranger. There's a boomerang that can bounce from animal to animal. Bounces once without upgrades. 
This requires planks. Harvest an adjacent plant. Once the plant is fully harvested, it moves onto the tile of the harvested plant. <laughs> Gnome ninjas? Okay. Takes three harvest actions. Jumps to a different tile and takes another three harvest actions? Wow. Grabs material wood from adjacent material wood gnomes and food from adjacent food gnomes to cook soup. Okay. I see. He says the hunter's range seems really strong. Chops plants that are exactly two wild tiles away. Okay. Seems interesting. Let's listen to the tutorial. Okay. Now, I don't know how we get blanks. Probably some sort of sawmill. Back to the caves. You don't want to upgrade your town first, my friend? Oops. Mushroom jungle. Unlocked by defeating the monster of deep... Okay. How do I... Okay, right click. Okay, so there's different areas we can go to. That's interesting. Leafy Hollows. Provides additional food. Ten food for the expedition. Okay. Huh. Alright, I don't have any of that stuff. Okay, we got 41 wood. Wow, this is a really strong starter map. Small bat nest might take care of itself. Okay, we definitely need woodcutters. And we definitely need something to hunt nearby animals. We're going to lose these trees, unfortunately. Let's try the boomeranger. There's a boomerang that can bounce from animal to animal, bounces once without upgrades. Okay. That's not super strong for us unless it bounces to... It doesn't. This is a plant. Okay. I think I regret my decision. Why don't we do this and that, and maybe it can bounce from there to there? You're not getting the right type of wood, my friend. <laughs> also, you didn't bounce at all. Ooh, boy. Okay. Hmm. All right. Seeing as how it didn't bounce... Let's do that. Wish we had gotten slightly more wood so we can you know, hire another woodcutter. Definitely getting to the point where it's not worth it to stay here. So soup is just worth more food, seems like. Do you need both wood and meat? I don't know. I don't think I want a cook this run. Since we can only have four units and we definitely need at least two woodcutters. Okay, why are you attacking me? <laughs> you have plenty of room to move, you jerk. Okay, now we get out of here, because we can't get any more food. Ooh, a treasure chest. You may discover chests on your expedition. They will give you some food or material for the expedition. They can also unlock new cosmetic buildings for your town. Okay. Nice. 
I think first things first, we slaughter you. Thanks for doing all the hard work for me. No problem. Okay. And now we hire a, another woodsman gnome. Ooh. Ah, you're 25 now instead of 10. I see. I think... I think you can handle the badness by yourself, right? Not worth much freaking food, though. Okay, you can, but barely. <laughs> Got him. All right. Got him. I think you can hop on this without causing an issue for me. Exactly enough for another woodcutter. Okay, now we get the heck out of here. Yeah, I can only have one of you. We could get seven wood. I don't think it's worth the food. That does hurt to see. This is Gnome's max health by three. Steal 15 food. It sounds like it's going to have problems. Um... Hmm. I don't think I care. Which feels bad. Um. Oh, wood. Okay. Huntress, you go here. Boomeranger. No, you're a woodcutter. Got him. Where's our boomer? Oh, there you are. We're going to absolutely slaughter all these chickens. Sorry, chickens. Okay. Not exactly ideal. has nothing to do. Eat food, huh? Mm. Eat food for 10 wood. Is that a strong exchange? I don't think it's great if I'm being totally honest. But sure, let's do it. Yeah, it feels bad when you have gnomes sitting there doing nothing. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Hmm. Ooh, we're going two layers deep now. I would like the treasure chests. I'm going to go off to the right. Hmm. Okay. Got him. Got him. Got him. For a wood map, there's not a lot of wood here. didn't target the one that's going to fall, and I'm pretty upset about that, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, 
I can't get here? Okay, we did murder the, the tree monster up top, and that's kind of nice. Okay, there goes the chickens. There's no reason to stay here anymore. That one didn't feel great. Okay, this is definitely a wood map. Um... And to find out if we can reach up there from here. Huntress, you go here. I'll confirm. Yeah, we can't have any more. And we should probably split these guys up. So let's do like this. Okay, you're targeting the stump men. <laughs> Okay. Why don't we do this and help murder the stump? Okay, you don't help murder the stump. <laughs> That's upsetting. Hmm. We're getting real low on food. We gotta get out of here. Okay. And the bright side is we got a lot of people that can myrtleize root peak. around randomly. Deals damage to all adjacent tiles at the end of the turn or if trapped. So if you're not trapped, you don't deal all that damage is what I'm gathering. So let's do that. If you're not trapped. Nice. Love that for us. Get the heck out of here. All right, we want to keep going to the right. Uh-oh. I didn't like that. <laughs> that was scary. Wasn't expecting that. Meat-eating plant. Eats zero food from adjacent tiles on every action. Builds more wood for every food consumed. Interesting. Very interesting. This is our first time in the new biome. So essentially, if we want more wood, we let it eat this chicken. Boomerang are absolutely going there. No questions asked. Put one woodcutter here. We'll put the Huntress here. Other woodcutter here. Oh my god, the boomerang is slaughtering. Okay. Okay, but you didn't eat any food. Unless it's saying the food needs to be on the ground. Which I suppose is possible. Got him. Let's find out. Never mind. <laughs> that was a mistake. We killed it before it could do anything. Okay, 
13 bats coming in. Actually, worth a lot of food, though. Hunters, do you, or sorry, woodcutters, do you perhaps want to, um, down these chickens? <laughs> Now we get the heck out of here. Alright. Healing. Not a bad idea. We've got so much here that I think it's a good idea to do healing on you. As well as robust on you. Reroll. Hmm. still healing a robust okay well, this is great. Thanks for helping me get wealthy. okay i think we save our wood okay now you can fly no you're the boomeranger okay you can fly though You cannot. We'll use you to kill this then. Okay. Hmm. You're not going to finish it off though. Hmm. Okay, so this chicken's gone, unfortunately. Okay. This feels like a waste. lose access to all these chickens which feels bad okay we get the heck out of here now too bad we don't have a flying hunter okay treasure chest don't mind if i do and i would have preferred food if i'm being honest Okay, the boomeranger. Uh oh. Okay, so we're not getting any wood this time. We should be able to kill both the bat nests, though. Between the two of them, I think they can get everything here.
okay now is no it's simply not worth it we need the food realistically more than we need the wood so let's move on okay light crew absolutely give that to the boomeranger right. and we'll give healing to the huntress what you got productivity robust robust um sure Okay. We move on. All right, boss, get ready. I will destroy you. <laughs> ah, you healed since the last time. Not ideal. Okay, I did not put them in the correct spots. I thought this was an axeman and this was the boomeranger. That's my bad. Okay, I'm doing a lot of damage. Crap. <laughs> Forgot about the food. <laughs> Economics. Thank you for playing. We hope you enjoyed your time with Economics. We appreciate you taking the time for providing us with valuable feedback. If you enjoy your experience, feel free to wishlist the game on Steam, and we hope you'll return to Gnome Lands when, you ha when the game fully releases. Okay, I just noticed a um, keep playing button. <laughs> so I'm probably going to edit out the outro I just did. Uh, but yeah, let's keep playing. Using wood is only going to get us so far. Let's start producing some goods to unlock more upgrades. Pick up some blueprints for a lumber mail. Okay. Uh, man, that's cheap. We have 505 wood, dude. Uh, pro provides additional 10 material for the expedition. Okay. Food rations. Requires a bindle. I don't know how to get bindles. Platform builder. Builds a platform on an adjacent tile on every action. What the heck? Okay. Stackable upgrade. Deals one additional damage but reduce max health by three. I see. Are these upgrades for inside of the run? That's my guess. Ah, it produces bindles. We don't need a bindle to get it. This requires planks. I have a feeling I'm probably not supposed to be buying all this stuff, but I did. <laughs> you can't stop me. Okay, build. All right, let's build a lumber mill. Make sure the entrance is connected to a path, otherwise the gnomes can't work. Oh, sorry. Make sure the entrance is connected to a path, otherwise the gnomes can't work. Good point, my friend. Okay, lumber mill. I feel like we should put that near lumber. That would make sense to me. So let's do that. It's like the entrance is right there. Sure. Gnomes will deliver wood to the lumber mill and process it into material rations. Once we get some spare rations, we can take them with us on the expedition to make our lives a little easier. Now keep gathering resources in the mines. Turn them into goods here in town. And most importantly, go deeper. We need to find that legendary treasure. Oops, I just accidentally built something down there. Building lumber mill can help you process your wood into material rations. You can process them further or take them on expeditions where they will be exchanged for bonus resources. Buildings need a path from their entry to the storage. Gnomes will bring wood to the lumber mill even when you are not there. Go on an expedition to reap your rewards afterwards. Okay. 
Well, I accidentally built this down here, though. How do I get rid of it? <laughs> Bomb. Okay. Got 80 wood back. How much did it cost me to produce? 80. That's generous. Okay. Produces one bindle. Um, I don't know why we're eating wood, but that's... <laughs> I mean, that's fine, I guess. Sure. <laughs> gnomes will do what gnomes will do, I suppose. Uh, how do we best utilize our space? Seems like a pretty good use right there. Okay. Should I be building multiple of these, maybe? Probably. Hmm. Wasting a block there. Doesn't feel great. Wasting one there, too, though. Sure. Fine. Oops. Can I take this now? I don't know. I don't think it expected me to get this much freaking wood, though. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't really have time for another run, but I can start one at least, I suppose. Maybe. Let's see what else we got real quick. I see. I see. We can build our own paths. Okay. Oops. Let's build some houses first, though. Oh, my goodness. I hate how much space I'm wasting. Okay. We could put bushes there. <laughs> That'll make me feel slightly better. This is so small that I can't see it. What it is over the rotate. Sure. Put down a bush. Why not? Okay. All right. Let's head into another run, I think. Should I build more? Probably. Increasing the hunter's range seems pretty strong. Okay. Let's start it up. Okay, we didn't get any upgrades to make it so that we can take more um, gnomes, which is a little unfortunate. Definitely a job for the boomeranger. That is unfortunate. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Okay. Only getting two food. It's, the wood is important, though. This is worth it for now. Doesn't feel great, though. Alright, now we get the heck out of here. Shop. I don't think there's much of a point at the moment. Okay, yeah. Speed run? Let's try to speed run. Get through as much of this as we can. Thanks for helping me get wealthy. What is this? Hey, Let's build this when we're back home. Okay. Um Boomeranger. Oh my god. Got him. You go here, please. Got him. You go here. Here. Doesn't bounce backwards, unfortunate. Okay, now we build some more people. It feels like boomerangers are just better hunters until we upgrade them with increased range.
Okay. I should have gotten another <laughs> woodsman. Um. Hmm. This feels not worth it at all. But I'm going to do it because I'm a dumb man. Okay. They still stole my food. Just testing a bug. <laughs> if there was a bug real quick. Okay. This is looking better. Sure. Okay, I don't think we can tempt fate here. I think we got to get out. There's no more food. Okay, costing us seven per turn. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate. We're losing wood for sure. I absolutely put a woodsman where I thought I was putting a boomeranger. Feels bad. <laughs> Why can't I place you? Oh my god. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Okay, let's get the heck out of here. We got robust productivity. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> I don't know that I care so much about the um, robustness of it all. One additional damage per increase max health by three. I mean, decrease. Right. We'll try it. Why not? Get out of here. Okay. Not looking good on food. Do something like, well, do this. Hmm. We can't get more food. This feels awful, but I think we have to leave. I hate it. <laughs> um, hmm. Do we go down here? Both boomerangers, yes. map's pretty bad, too. Okay. It's, the rest of the map is simply not worth it. Five wood for ten food. No. <laughs> It'll make us lose as well. Okay. 
Okay. Um... One off. Feels bad. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. I, um, I'm noticing that I wish there was some better indication of what was what. Now, obviously, you're probably thinking right now, how could you not tell the difference between an axe and a boomerang? <laughs> but, uh, it's hard to tell at a quick glance. Um, we simply must leave. Platform builder. I don't exactly know what that means. Um, I'll get it. Sure. Wait, wait. Kind of more important that you guys, without the uh, health, can heal. You build platforms, so you might not need to fly. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks for doing all the hard work for me. No problem. Okay. Probably can do that by ourselves. We'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do that. Once again, I... <laughs> confusing the freaking units. Okay, we lost because I confused the units. <laughs> I hate that for me. No one died though. Got 200 wood. Pretty good. I think one of them <laughs> spit me. We can't let that happen again. Okay. Um, how do I collect? I see that I've got stuff to collect. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see what upgrades we got now. One free reroll every time you visit Hell in the Shop during the expedition. Certainly could. I think I'd rather have increased range, though. It gives me a reason to actually take you. Chops plants that are exactly two tiles away, though, is interesting. I don't know that that's strictly an upgrade. This makes it sound like it's between one and two. This says it's exactly two. Harvest an adjacent plant. Once the plant is fully harvested, it moves onto the tile of the harvested plant. Could be dangerous. There's one additional damage. Sure. There are no plants to harvest. Move forward towards the closest plant resource. I see. That seems pretty useful. to a different tile if they can't do anything else. Huh. Okay. Bounce off gnomes. That's funny. All right. Well, I mean, that's all we're going to see, I think, today. I'm interested to see what this pipeline system is. And I can't imagine what these two even are. Uh, but yeah, the game's very interesting. Um... Uh, second attempt at an outro since I, <laughs> I thought the game was over the first time I made one. Um, yeah, I liked what I saw with the base building. Um, I do think you could do more with it, though, to be fair, we haven't seen 
if this is everything. Like, obviously, there's a couple more buildings planned, but I'm not sure if there's even more planned than that. I couldn't tell you. But I do feel like it is less satisfying than the digging um, or the expedition down below, which I thought was very fun. Um, if they want to do both, I think they should make this base building, city building aspect more interesting. Which they probably have plans to do. So, yeah, just throwing that out there. And uh, I had a really fun time with the expeditions. I thought they were very interesting. I'm still not entirely sure how to explain what this game is, so <laughs> I'm going to have a rough time coming up with the title. Um, yeah, what do you call this? This is... The expeditions are like... Part auto battler, part strategic resource gathering. I, I, I have no idea. Uh, I like what I saw, um, even though I'm having a hard time describing it. It was interesting. It was unique. And uh, I had a fun time with it. I encourage you guys to check out the demo yourselves. I will put a link to it in the description below. If you are interested in the game, wishlist it because it helps out the devs a lot. Uh, devs keep up the great work. I didn't encounter any crashes or anything. Um, the only thing I will say is that I almost stopped playing the game entirely because I didn't notice the keep playing button the first time um, when the little trailer played and then you thanked me for playing. So yeah, I would maybe put that later in the game just so people don't think it's over if they are dumb like me and don't read. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I had a fun time with it. Yep. I said that already. Wishlist the game helps out devs a lot. If you want to help me out a lot. Uh, I would appreciate it greatly if you left a comment and or a like that'll feed the algorithm and, uh, it'll make me happy. And, uh, yeah, if you want to hear for more from me, my name is Quantic Flux. I put out a new video every single day in my check it out series, which you just watched where I check out a new, usually indie, usually roguelike game. And if that sounds like something you'd like to see more of, I'd be happy to have you subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. I truly do appreciate your time, and I hope I see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.